Amber wanted to get rid of the mulch in her beds. She wanted to replace it with stone, and there's some good benefits with stone. The, the biggest one is that um, you never have to replace it. You put it in once, it's maintenance free, maybe every couple of years you, you sprinkle it with a little fresh or not, but it's, it's a more permanent, cost-effective way to uh, beautify a bed. Chris Horser Landscaping, 215-249-1236. At a property in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where we're laying down red stone in all the flower beds. Uh, the homeowner had originally had mulch. The crew removed all the mulch from the beds. And is in the process of laying down red stone. These are some of the beds after the mulch was taken out. And walk the big boxwood bushes basically hiding her entire uh, perennial bed in the back. So we suggested we remove them, and we added, this is all new sod here from about uh, two and a half feet, put new sod and accented it with the river rock. So now you can see what we did over here, which is one of her many beds here. We put, um, we moved a lot of the perennials around, and this flax over here, you can see, this is a beautiful ground cover in March and April. She only had purple, so we put some mountain pink in there, and that will all grow in. So when it comes March or April, she's going to have real beautiful color here. Uh, trimmed up her shrubs, removed all her mulch. She had mulch here. We pulled it all out, and we put in um, the, the redstone, three-quarter inch redstone. And the big advantage to that is that you never have to replace that. It's always going to stay new and beautiful and unlike most that you have to replace it every year this stays for many many years to come so it's more of a, a lower maintenance that she wants to do and we did that in these beds all all around here See here she's got some more daisies that we put in she got a big old rose bush covering the front of her house we cut that back now this planter is not going to stay there that's going to go on the patio but we still have to seal and lock this patio she doesn't